Welcome, Waffle Waffettes. We are back with the brilliant Immortals of Avium on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Immortal difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video, we finally escaped from the Alori, aka the Magic Eaters. And we then met up with their leader, Rook, who at first desperately wanted to feast on our soul, but we managed to persuade him not to. And instead, he has brought us to Thaddeus' fortress. Now, because Rook saved our life and also brought us to the fortress, he has now told us that we owe him a couple of debts. So I'm sure Rook's going to contact us in the future and probably tell us to do a bunch of things or maybe be his main course meal because he really wanted to eat us. <laughs> but now that we're here, Rook told us that there's lava everywhere because apparently wizards love lava. So what we're doing at the moment is we are dealing with a couple of puzzles so that we can create a path over to Thaddeus' fortress. So yeah, we already did one in the previous video and now we've got to do one on the left side. So yeah, let's get straight into things. And in case you've forgotten, the reason that we're trying to find Thaddeus is because he used to be the leader of the Immortals, or a Grand Magnus, and he has knowledge about the technology used to make the Binding Stone. So maybe he will know how to destroy it. And Sandrak has the Binding Stone because with it, he can absorb the fonts and control magic. So that's why we're trying to stop him from being able to do that, because he will win the war and control the world. Or someone just appeared. I knew someone appeared. <laughs> I knew someone appeared. Man, I had damaged your healing power. That was crazy. Hang on a minute, what's that? Oh shit, it's a blue guy. Let me stun it. Let me stun it, stun it, stun it. Oh no! No, no, no! I would have taken less damage if I just fell over the edge. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me. Yeah, I would have took more damage. Less damage, I just went over the edge then. Fucking hell, man, I keep walking over the edge. Oh shit, he's got another friend. Right, I know Crab's still alive. Where are you, Crabby boy? You filthy mud crab. I mean, the music stopped, so maybe... Oh. Or maybe he got himself killed. Well, yeah, there's some green essence here, so he must have got himself killed somehow. It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> maybe he fell over the edge, who knows. Took a little bit of unnecessary damage during that battle, though. Oh, hello. Very nice, some more green essence. But we've uh, got an upgrade now where we can hold five health packs. So we are doing very well in terms of upgrades. both of them. Lovely. I should have probably have done this in the previous video. That didn't even take that long. I thought it was going to take a bit longer than that. I was waiting for some bad guys to appear then. I had a really bad feeling. Just waiting for some dickhead to pop up then. Shit! I'm oh, Moses! Damn, I might have to change your name from Jack to Moses. One thing I do love about Jack's name is he spells his name Jack the exact same way as Jack from Jack and Daxter. And Jack also has some rather unique guns. And these things that um, Jack's got on his hand, they're basically just guns. Even though they're called sigils or they allow us to harness our magic, they're just basically guns. So uh, you and Jack are very similar, Jack. All we need to do is get you a little like weasel otter creature that sit on your shoulder, and this will basically be the sequel to Jack and Daxter that we never got. Daddy isn't home. Well, I'm not too worried about him being home. I'm more worried that he might not be in this area at all. Because <laughs> we went all the way to the library, and there was a bunch of books and stuff that were Thaddeus's, but that was it. <laughs> Nothing else. I'm pretty sure he's home now. I mean, like, where the hell is he going to go? He's not going to come out here, is he? What's the point? Look at the state of this place. You nearly managed to get away from me then, chest. Oh, look at that. 4K nearly. All right. Oh, 
I thought it was an alarm, not a bomb. <laughs> oh, look at this mess. You're paying for this mess. I hope you've got an inheritance coming. This is one of them for the rest of your natural born life type debts right here. I, uh, I really didn't mean to blow up your porch and whatever this room is supposed to be. I, I just came here to talk. My name's Jack. It's called a parlor, Jack, where you entertain guests. Would have done anyway, had I any actual burning desire to ever have guests. <laughs> I need some coffee in here. I'm gonna box your ears, I swear. You want any? No. That'd be great. I really am sorry. I wish none of this had happened. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. What's a horse? I don't know. Never seen one. Died out in the early parts of the war. That's what you're here about, right? I don't need a horse. No, dummy. The war. You a deserter? You look scared. What? No, I'm... Why would you think that? Some men's eyes. They got a little bunny in them. Yours do. Hopping around. Maybe not always. But right now. Something's got you scared out of your mind. We're going to lose the war. No one knows how to stop Sandrak, and... I'm afraid of what comes after. You should be. What he's done to Saren, to Kelthus, he wins, that's what he'll do to everyone. So how's he doing? Snuffing out the fonts. You know about that? Kid, I got scry stones in every damn corner of Avia. You start seeing ley lines winking out in all the wrong places, gives you pause. If I had to guess, the world's poorer by about three fonts. Three? He got to another one? Oh, yeah. As soon as the font in Rasharn went dark, he must have beelined for the one in Kelthus. His occupation would have made it easy pickings. They're not really gone. Sandrax absorbed their power using some kind of artifact of Aristea. A binding stone, a... Throughout a cult. That's why I'm here. The Immortals believe you're the only one that might know what the stone really is. So, uh, Kirkin still hate me? I've heard she's not a big fan of yours. But, I mean, she's never mentioned you to me. Mm. Well, you gotta be new then. No, I've been her student for five years now. Oh, well, she must be working up to it. This binding stone of yours... Look like this otherwise innocent bit of business, yeah? Yeah. It's that bad? Walk with me. Easier just to show you. Calm your tits. Won't hurt none, promise. They're pecs, mate. Pecs! Oh, damn. Well, look at this place. It's like he took me inside one of those shroud fans. You want to know the real reason why there was fear in my eyes, Thaddeus? It was because you brought me a cup of coffee instead of a cup of tea. I do not like coffee. <laughs> I hate coffee. So do not bring me coffee ever again or you'll see more than fear, mate. <laughs> uh, every time I see the word Thaddeus, it gives me flashbacks to Nax Ramus in uh, World of Warcraft. Oh, Thaddeus was such a pain in the ass if people didn't know what to do. <laughs> Especially with all the plus and minus stuff and... Oh yeah, it's uh, it too much to explain, but it's a pain. How are you doing this? With panache. It's called a mind walk. A trick I picked up in Rasharn back in the day. This is Rasharnian magic? What about it? Some of the most elegant and creative Magni alive. No, don't let King Dipshit and his confederates spoil the barrel. That is true. Like Hitler in Let Germany. Show you some history. This is Avium in the time of Aristea. A thousand years and some change ago. The wound? It's small. Yep. Just a teensy thing back then. We Magna hadn't gone buck wild yet. Aristea brought out the worst in us. And it's all because of this thing. A binding stone. They used it to commune with the fonts. And some idiot decided to use it to control them instead. 
Let's just say things got out of hand. Sandrax doing the same damn thing. History loves a sequel. What are we looking at here? The place they built the binding stone, called a Shrine Forge. Suspected somewhere in Eastern Orman. You've got to give me something better than that. What if I could, son? Orman's a damn big place. And it doesn't help that it blew itself up some 20 odd years ago. Now, unless you got more questions, we can head back. So we need to find a Shrine Forge in Orman. And Orman is the place where we went to the library to find him originally. The home of Kinsey, the one who really doesn't like us. The conformist. Oh no, we're the conformists, apparently. <laughs> uh, I've got plenty of questions for you, Thaddeus, but I'm sure you're going to use a bunch of big words that are going to make no sense and just going to confuse me. <laughs> so I don't even know if I want to ask you, mate, but I will for the benefit of my fans. Well, what's it going to be? Asteria destroyed itself. So that's the big secret of how Aristea fell. Just one more casualty of the Everwar. The lure of the Binding Stone was too much. We see magic, Jack. We eventually get greedy. Can't help ourselves but to sink down to our basest nature. Even the mighty Aristea could only keep its head up for a year or two. A year or two? Their ruins are everywhere. A whole cities of them. And they were way more advanced than ours. That can't be right. Aristea, the bastion of high learning and magical ingenuity, capable of miracles, uncountable, their magna demigods among men. Yeah, that what you're talking about? Well... Don't know what to tell you, kid. Getting too close to magic turns us all dead stupid. It's like the Everwars, our natural state of being, despite everything you've been told. Aristea was just a blip. The Aristea are our people from the past. I think uh, Kirk and might have mentioned them once, but they don't get m mentioned very often. Um, one thing I will say though is Kinsey did do a bit of voice acting of Thaddeus one, a couple of videos back, and her voice acting was perfect. Thaddeus does sound exactly like a redneck <laughs> or a miner. He sounds a bit like uh, Yosemite Sam, actually. What does communion with the fonts mean? When the Aristea used the Binding Stone to commune with the fonts, what happened? They all about turned into little penisods in a manner of days. Spread their new magic know-how like brush fire until they were pulling cities out of the ground like it was nothing. Bunch of idiots. Who cares that it was causing the wound to grow at an exponential rate? Oh, they'd fix that later. Fix it later. We haven't changed. Not one inch. Yeah, so they were just using tons of magic like we've been doing and they created the wound and made it bigger. And the Pentacade is that big giant thing that we saw walking around. That's like the master of the Shroud Realm, the Shrouded Realm. And the fonts convert magic from the Shrouded Realm into ley lines to bring it to our world where we can use it as a usable magic. But then we use it too much and we've made the wound bigger. This bloody whole game's a bit like global warming, ain't it? <laughs> Cast two games I've played like this now. Let's go back. I need to get back to the Palathon. Tell them what I found out. Fair enough. Wait a minute. You feel that? Feel what? Someone's in here with us. Hold on. What? <laughs> That's creepy. Stay out of my way, Jack. Get down, kid! Oh, go on, Thaddeus! Ah, no! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Thanks. Go on, go after her! I'm not leaving you here! I'm done for, kid. She was in her minds. She gets away, Sandrak will know y'all are gonna go after the Shrine Forge. Well, how the hell does she manage to get into your mind walk ability? Catch I'll catch her. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Pursue the hand of Sandrak. Yeah, it would be nice to kill her. Here's the second time now we've seen her. 
Oh yeah, of course it's not going to be easy, is it? It's going to have all the little goons. Yep, look at them all. Look at them all coming over. Ah oh, shit, that's one of the red ones, isn't it? Shouldn't have done that. Boff! Ah oh, shit, he's still got his shield on. Man, I keep, I keep landing in the fucking... I keep landing in the uh, lava. I need to get out of this little area. Lovely. She's by the ley line. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You've got to be very care careful because there are some relatively tough enemies in this area. Well, it's not so much that they're tough; it's just there's a lot of them. It becomes very overwhelming, and your shield ain't going to stay up for very long because of the amount of things that are going to be hitting you. Oh, hello! How did I miss that? That's a proper chest as well, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, oblivion. Oblivion Burst Fire. Didn't we already pick that up? Because I was speaking about Oblivion in a previous video, and that must have been what triggered the fault. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we'll check it out after. It's probably not better than what I'm using at the moment. Well, you say she's riding the ley lines. Oh, yeah, there she is. Hurry it up, Jack. Shoot her! You literally have your hand free to shoot her. <laughs> How did I lose some mana? Come on. Oh, from using my punch below. I keep forgetting that that uses mana. Upper Caldera. She's over there. Oh, be careful on this bit. There's a lot of baddies. Down quick. Oh, you bastard. Did I get him? Yes. Oh, shit. We've got a oh, mana stone. Can't see shit, though. You don't really want that popping up in the middle of the fight, do you? Where's my lash? Come here, you fucker. Oh, you cheeky devil. I hate when they do that. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. Big guys right behind me. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's, going, it's not getting too badly at the moment. Whew. Fucking hell. I don't know if the music's going to stop or not. Yep, it stopped. I thought it was going to continue because we're technically pursuing a bad guy right now. Oh no, he's still playing. Right. Let's quickly grab up the loot and we'll head on after the hand soundtrack. Shouldn't really be doing this because she's probably just gotten out of it now. She's long gone because <laughs> we stopped to open a few chests. <laughs> If Kirkland saw what we were doing right now, she'd be livid. God, imagine if uh, Zendara saw what we were doing right now. Just picking up chests and loot instead of pursuing the hand of Sandra. God, Zendara would be fuming. And they, they ain't afraid to swear in this game. She'd be giving me a right grilling. Oh, 
I knew he was gonna do that. Please don't be you. How are you alive? No, don't. Why didn't you try to find me? Don't do that. Do what? Ask me a question you won't accept the answer to. How can you be with them? That's the one. I can't believe it. I gotta be honest with you, Jack. Your reaction when you saw her was pretty dead. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like you already knew. The way that you reacted then was like you had a suspicion. I mean, maybe when you heard a voice back in Thaddeus's room, you kind of would have known just from the voice, wouldn't you? But still, your reaction then was pretty dead. I mean, we already knew it was going to be Luna eventually was going to crop up somewhere. It was so flipping obvious. The fact that when, she, when the, uh, at the start of the game, when the kids died, you saw the entire building get blown up. So you knew that, yeah, they're brand bred. But as for Luna, oh, she just slowly falls down this dark hole. You knew she was going to crop up somewhere. It was so flipping obvious. <laughs> but now we're going to have a bloody choice, ain't we? Is uh, Jack going to be stupid and not kill her? Because she deserves to die. You know, she's, but she's on the bad team. I don't care. She might be a friend, but not anymore. I mean, you've been used to her being... Jack, report in, soldier. That's uh, Kirken again. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine fort somewhere in eastern Oromon. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Daddy has died helping us find that out. I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh... I had a tail. Sandrak will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning. Okay. Have I got a chance to speak? I see how it is. You're not going to even ask if I'm okay or explain why my bloody face got pulled through a Farkle stone or how you're evidently palled with an Alori now. Buddy, since I set out on this mission, I've had my politics questioned, my pants criticized, told my eyes were full of bunnies, and... <laughs> and what? Oh, it's... nothing. It's... just been a lot, you know? We'll catch up when I get back. This place is pretty damn beautiful. You gotta love lava, ain't ya? Obviously it's deadly, but it also creates new land. And it's very useful in Minecraft as well. Without it, no obsidian, no nether realm. No defeating the ender dragon. Well, I think you have to do stuff in the nether realm before you can get to the ender dragon, ain't it? I can't remember. I know you need the enderman eyes to find the portal, and then you need to put eyes inside that portal to go to the end. But I thought there was something you had to do in the, uh, Never realm as well, I can't remember. It's been years and years. I think like since 2011 I ain't played or something like that. Well, I played the PS4 version to get the Platinum, but that was about it. That weren't properly playing though. But yeah, if you do have to end up uh, confronting Luna and you do have to kill her, um, Jack, you better do it. None of this, oh, she's my friend shit. You've been used to her being gone for the past five years. So you already know what it's like her being gone. So you take her out. She's a villain. She's no longer the Luna that you uh, liked or loved. She's a bitch. Unless she's got good reason to join with uh, the Roshanians and Sandrak. If she's got good reason for it and they're technically the good guys, then fair enough. But if not, you better take her out, Jack. You already let her escape with vital information. And now when we go to this bloody Shrine Forge, once we've found it, we're now going to have to bloody deal with uh, the entire Roshanian army being there waiting for us. Mind you, she don't know where it is either. They're going to have to search for it as well. He only told us that it's in East Orman or whatever it was. That's all, we, that's all she heard. So she's got to search for it with Sandrak. So maybe they won't be there, actually. We might, might have got away with it. It's a good job that Thaddeus didn't know exactly where it was. Okay, is there anything I can do here? Probably not. Upgrade this a bit further. Beautiful. Fully upgraded that. Nope. Let's 
do a little bit of deconstructing. Won't take long doing this. Just bear with me a minute, it will not take long. If you sell these things to the uh, vendor, I think you can buy them back, obviously for 10 times the bloody price, but you can buy them back, I think. They become available all the time, if I remember correctly. I could be lying about that though, so do not quote me. 309. It's so hard to get like a, a Seeker Shards one that's like an upgrade. They're all like, oh, the capacity goes down too much in the fire rate. I don't want it to be too much like the other ones. I mean, that one would be all right. The damage is high, but look how, look how the capacity goes down by tons. Now, we'll stick with what we've got at the moment. I'm not going to buy this because we're going to find an upgrade when we go to the next area. It's going to be a blue chain upgrade, so we're not going to bother buying that. I've already got an upgrade for that. Nothing there for me to get just yet. Yeah, well, we should be all right at the moment. Oh, hang on a minute. One thing I want to see if I can upgrade is my braces. Oh, no, we fully upgraded them already. I don't remember doing that. Oh, well, sweet. All right, let's go and have a chat with Kirk and see if we can find out where this shrine forge is and then maybe we'll find out how to destroy this binding stone, which is all fine and dandy, but then we have to work out how to get it off Sandrak. That's the main problem. Unless Luna betrays him. Or maybe I'm predicting the future. Because I'm not that far ahead off camera. This is insane. The surface of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end of time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it. So our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this Binding Stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um, the Hand of Sandrak was following me, had a team of Nightblades with her, and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location. And that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge, we're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Initiate. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Damn, Zindara. Jack, hold up. When you said about dehydration, I thought he was going to ask me if I wanted to go to the pub. <laughs> you got to love a good pub, Wolf War Vets. Obviously, I'm not the most sociable person, person on the planet. I've made that very clear. I've dealt with anxiety for many, many, many years. I'm much better with it nowadays, thanks to some intense counselling and mostly a lot of forcing myself. But I still struggle here and there. But you got to love a pub. Not so much for the drinking, because I also don't really drink very much, but for the food. You know, just sitting in there, all the blokes watching football on the telly, all of the blokes' wives sitting together, probably moaning about their husbands, everyone eating a good old roast dinner or fish and chips or whatever the pub's making. Gotta love a good old pub. It's a shame that they're all vanishing. Oh, playing a bit of pool or snooker. That's the main thing I like about a pub, or darts. But, uh, not, but I used to be good at darts, not anymore. I could barely hit the ball now. <laughs> Zendara's right. You do the immortals proud, my friend. And it's great to see you back in one piece after that whole adventure. Thanks, Dev. It's good to see you too. Just now, when you were telling us about Thaddeus, I noticed something might have been distracting you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Your face at one point, it was 
like you'd seen a ghost. I don't forgive me for prying. I'll tell you about I'm it sure later. You've got a lot on your mind after all you've been through recently. I um I saw someone I used to know and she's in trouble. Look, this isn't the place, but I'll fill you in when I can. What kind of trouble? This is not the place. Oh, right. Right you are. And, you know, keep it to yourself, okay? Why would you even have to ask that? You can't be serious. Point? I promise to keep it to myself. Also, I'm so very sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your Lori friend. Is friend the right word? I know I embarrassed myself. His name's Rook. But one thing at a time, Devin. I gotta head out. You know, Kirka was listening to every single word we just said. Literally talking about a friend that we've seen and we can't speak about right now who's in trouble. I guarantee you Kirkan heard all that. It looks like Zendara's busy, but Kirkan, she was definitely earwigging on what we were saying then. And we're right next to her. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll explain it now. But basically, when we uh, did that mind walk ability with uh, Thaddeus when he was telling us about the binding stone and where it is, we've now got this weird connect... Alive. What am I supposed to do with that? Nothing. We're going to kill her. I swear to God, Jack. If, it, if there comes a point in this game where you have to... Because this, a lot of the developers in this game are from Telltale Games. So I, I was expecting more of a bunch of decisions in this game. Maybe that's the only decision you make in the game where you decide if you kill Luna or not. I'm telling you right now, Jack, I'm making you kill Luna. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Unless you can persuade me, like I said, that the Roshanians and Sandrak are the good guys. And what they're trying to do is right. If, you, if she can convince me of that, I won't do it. But other than that, she's gone, mate. She's brown bread. She's dead. If you don't know what brown bread means, it means dead. It's a Cockney rhyming slang. Like I said, I've tried to avoid ever saying any of this stuff so people don't know what the hell I'm on about. <laughs> the English probably do, but other countries might not know. What's he on about? What the hell is brown bread? What's he talking about? Dude's gone mad. But yeah, we are connected by this weird mind walk ability now because she bumped into us when we were in that scenario with Thaddeus. So now she can basically just talk to me whenever she wants, but I don't think she can see where I am and vice versa. So we can like talk to each other using some Jedi mind tricks. I think she explains it, but probably not in English like, like I just did. <coughs> just remember, every time you come back to the Palafon, Speak to everybody with a speech bubble and make sure you've spoken to everybody and exhausted all of their dialogue options before you get to the chapter. I think it's called Colossus or Colossal, something like that. And if you do that, then once you finish the game and you're in the epilogue, speak to everyone again and you'll get the trophies. You get like eight different trophies for all the different dialogues. But I don't think you have to keep speaking to them every time you come back to the Palathon. I think you can just do it all before the Colossal uh, chapter. But speak to everybody just in case. I'm not doing it because... It takes up a lot of time listening to them and we won't get much done in the video. But yeah, make sure you do have a chat with everyone. How are you even alive? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <sighs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here. Who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rishorn it? Sharn almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you nap too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that. 
and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Maybe you shouldn't have joined the enemy team and I wouldn't have to kill you. They never get pajamas on, do they? I'll sleep naked. <clears throat> Hello? Rise and shine, friend. Kirka needs everyone in the war chamber. Did we find the Shrine Forge? We might be close. I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in Shrine Forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously. Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me. <laughs> oh, man, you like a bit of drama, don't you, uh, Jack? You like a bit of drama? Oh, man, Kenzie and Zendara, that is going to be a match made in heaven. They'll probably get on very well. Sometimes opposites do attract. I think that's the weirdest shit I've ever heard, though. Obviously, with batteries, opposites do attract, but in the real world, opposites don't attract <laughs> at all. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, maybe? I don't know. I've not met anyone... Well, there's a lot of people that have got opposite opinions to me, and I can still get on with them. But would I get on with them as well as somebody with the same opinions? No, I wouldn't. It's a fact. <laughs> you always like people that are similar to you, like the same things as you. But I could also get on with somebody that has the opposite opinion of me, which a lot of people do have the opposite opinions than me, and I don't care. I don't judge people on their opinions or what they believe, or their political beliefs and all that. I don't judge them. They believe what they believe. It's up to them, you know? Okay, uh, I don't think I need to do anything there. Have I got enough time? Yeah, we'll go into the war chamber. We'll chat with them, but we're not going to be able to uh, actually head over to the Shrine Forge yet. We'll have to do that in the next episode. Can you believe it? The Anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there, she's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home, not to make nice with some princess that thinks... She... Oh, my. I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you scrying the entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along... You mispronounced invasive. <laughs> When's the last time Orman even pretended to be at wartime? <sighs> You're looking at her. It's okay, Zandara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Orman's High Council the next time they convene at Nosia. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosia, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. You're shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. It's like Starship Troopers. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. 
I'll you tell better. Captain Selko it's go time and to have his lance of strikers ready. So, what should I do? Shall we save you a seat on the assault craft? <laughs> no, still not my war. Ah, well, um, there's a very nice gift shop on level 10. Nope, level 10 disappeared again. It keeps overlapping with that northeastern change wind from my Opale. takes a vacation whenever it does. Well, that's too bad. You could have gotten your own Immortals replica badge, Kenzie. Hold up, I Opale the moon, I Opale? Our stewards are looking into it. Oh, no fucking clue what you two are talking about now. It was making sense at first, but then you started talking about whole floors of the place vanishing. Like, you... you whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's been a long week. I ain't got time for this. All right, so next time we're going to be speaking to Captain Selko. You can already see there's a ship over there, and we're going to be heading into battle. Now, obviously... The Roshanians probably already know about the Shrine Forge as well, so we're going to be dropping in ready for a battle. So uh, yeah, the next the next episode should start off very action packed. But anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully the commentary was all right and all that good stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today.